go ahead with the uh, applying of the top surface. I'm going to fold a piece of paper in half like this. And starting at about one inch, we're going to go out to about two inches. So here's the uh, the two edges together here, about one inch out, and I'm going to start our cut. And I'm keeping this pressed together with my fingers real tight because you don't want this uh, paper kind of getting away and growing on you. I'm going to open it up like this. And those get applied like that. Right at the nose. Then I'm going to fold it over. <clears throat> I've also found that the Scotch brand tape is better. This is just some uh, Walmart brand here, I guess, and it uh, the tape doesn't have quite the stickiness that I'd like for it to stay permanent. So always use the Scotch brand. That's not a chainless plug. It's just uh, what I use and seem to get the best results out of the Magic Transparent Scotch brand. Okay, I've got the tape on the back half here. I'm going to start at the middle. Make sure that this is getting laid down properly. And then try to pay attention that we don't want to be taking the twist out, we want to support that twist. Okay, got the first surface down now. You'll notice probably some little areas that are trying to cave in and all. Uh, if, if we apply another surface, it will uh, make it less uh, likely to cave in with uh, flight as far as you know bumping into stuff. So just just to make it a little bit uh, uh, stronger, fold it this way. This will be our next surface, and it'll be. Uh, more like that. Okay, so fold it in half, and since it's going to be there, I'm going to I'm going to try to find approximately where that last where the back part of the uh, last leading edge was uh, ending, and then we'll. Grow it out a little bit bigger than what the previous was. So what, here's what I'll show you: is is uh, it, it's actually going back a little bit further 
than the previous surface. For the other side, And this uh, overlap edge here would create some uh, airflow problems. So, kind of just like that, to seal that up. A little extra on the nose here. These do take a lot of beating on the nose, and the more you build that up, the stronger it'll be. Now, what what happens with this second surface? You've got the surface underneath it, giving it uh, some something to, to to rest against. So there's less chance of you getting a, a concave pucker or something there. Uh, now some of the Omni wings I build will consist of up to eight sheets of paper. Might have a triple layer or more of a double surface, a um, lot more uh, structural strength. Um, I'm going to put some tape on the uh, edges here and here. Just trying to clean it up. Uh, a little bit out on the tips at that edge as well. And basically done. You got yourself a advanced Omni wing. I hope it flies for you.